This is certainly one of the worst uh, stories in the history of the Valley, definitely in Scottsdale. Tomorrow marks 20 years since one of the most infamous crime cases in Valley history. Police believe Robert Fisher killed his family and then blew up their Scottsdale home back in 2001. Two decades later, police still don't know what happened to him. Here's Jared Dillingham. Mr. Fisher is still outstanding. Police believe Robert Fisher is on the run tonight. Where is he? It's one of the great unanswered stories in Arizona history. It is one of Arizona's biggest mysteries. Where is Robert Fisher? 20 years ago, Fisher's home went up in flames. Inside, his wife and two kids were found dead. Police believe Fisher set fire to cover up the murders, then took off. He was never seen again. We have to get justice. Uh, we had our family slaughtered. We had uh, two kids, ages 10 and 12, slaughtered. Uh, a white, uh, a mom that was murdered. Charlie Min directed the documentary, Where is Robert Fisher, to bring attention to the case. Every case fades over time, and you can't solve a problem unless you talk about it. 10 days after the explosion, detectives found the family's missing SUV and dog in a forest near the town of Young, about three hours northeast of Phoenix. People actually went in there and dug into those caves and they didn't find any human remains, as I said, like a skull, some kind of fossil, nothing. Some believe Fisher is dead. Others, like Charlie, think he could still be out there. I believe he did get out of that forest uh, alive. And he says it is up to the public to help bring Fisher to justice. People have to be on the lookout um, for this man. He's 60 years old today, so people have to take that into account. You have to look for a 60-year-old man. I believe he was around six feet tall. You can certainly change your appearance, dye your hair, gain weight, lose weight, whatever the case may be. But always remember, uh, your height doesn't change. I'm Jared Dillingham for Arizona's Family. And this is just the beginning of our coverage of the Robert Fisher case. We also have a podcast on it. You can search True Crime Arizona on any of the platforms you see on your screen right there. It's available right now.